Hey, this is John with Estimator for SketchUp. We're going to do a, a simple tutorial today on, on uh, components, and this is going to be very basic. We're just going to build a little deck, okay? I've got a couple components that I stuck in here for a time saver. I've got a, a, a 2 by 10 by 12 foot long um, with the treated look to it. We're going to do a treated deck. I've got a joist hanger in here that some brilliant person put up on Warehouse, and I downloaded it for free, which was cool. And then this is a um, piece of uh, Trex decking. It's a 16 foot piece of decking, which is basically a one inch by five and a half inch piece extruded out to 16 foot long. All right, so let's just start taking, uh, let's say we're gonna do a 12 by 16 deck. Okay, we've already got a joist there. I'm gonna use the tape measure and I'm gonna pull over 16 feet. All right, and uh, I'm gonna take this joist. First of all, I'm gonna put a band across there. So. Uh, Q. Let's do Q. Hold down shift where we're flat. Push the control and let's rotate and make a copy of that going 90 degrees. Okay. And I want that to be the outer band of this deck. And I'm going to take this guy, which this was already a component uh, called a 2x10x12 by by joist. So I'm going to come over here and make this one unique because I don't want to change. If I change this one, it would change that one. So now that it's unique, I'm going to Push pull that guy, double clicked on it to edit it. I'm going to pull it out to this line there. Now I'm going to call that a, instead of 2 by 12 by, uh, 2 by 10 by 12 joist number one, I'm going to just edit the name of that and call that uh, 16. And then, you know, let's call this a band. Okay. So now I've got basic shape starting to go here. Now let's take this guy. And we're going to move copy from this end to this end of the joist. Okay. All right. And now let's take this. Let's take this joist here and let's move copy by M and, and control. And let's start going 16 inches on center. So I just typed in 16 and enter. And then times with the asterisk button, let's say 12 of them. That's about right. But I want to move this one in. So let's move this one in to there. All right. All right. Now we can get our, rid of our guides. Now we got the basic formation of the deck. All right. Let's take uh, this joist hanger that you see here and um, let's copy it over to the others. Okay. So this is just a joist hanger. We only have one in there right now. So I'm going to say move copy over to there and it was 12 of them so times 12. Okay that one there we have to move over because we had to move it over. So let's move that guy from here over to there. Okay. Whoops. Didn't stay. So let's go in and move it. Move it over. Okay. It's still not perfect and I like to be perfect. Move it over to there until it hits that plane. Okay. All right. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to put the joist hangers to the other side. So I'm going to right click on this guy and say instances select active. So now I've got all these joist hangers. There's an excellent little free plugin called Mirror. I use it every day. So get it if you don't have it, and it will mirror whatever you selected. It's a great tool. So let's. Let's mirror and let's pick those joists and I'm going to go to the midpoint of the joist, which I just found it there, there, and I'm going to go over to in the red axis and then I'm going to go into the blue axis and flip those over there. So I don't want to erase the originals. I want to keep the originals. So there's all my joists, uh, joist hangers. Okay. So it's really starting to look like a deck. All right. Let's take a minute to uh, open up estimator. And let's start assigning some cost to these things. Okay. So let's take this joist hanger, for example. Let's not edit it, but let's pick on it. Let's pick on it. All right. There's a joist hanger. Let's say it's cost code for decks. Let's go to, there's deck, exterior structures, deck materials. Okay. Let's add a cost code or, excuse me, a description of joist hanger. And uh, let's put a vendor in there, caps. Now, again, these cost codes are NEHB's cost code, National Association of Home Builders, or you can upload your own 
cost codes, your proprietary cost codes. Vendors will auto populate your own vendor list and we'll talk about how you can get your vendors into here. Um, attribute of quantity, we're just going for individual pieces. So we're not doing, we're not adding a multiplier because we're not converting it. So let's put a unit rate of maybe a buck 50 each. I'm not sure how much they run, but let's say a dollar 50 each. And I got to pay sales tax on that. So 5.3% and save the changes. So that little guy's a dollar 58. All right, now let's click on this two by 10 by 12 joists. Let's go back and say again it was deck material so let's say deck materials uh, description 2 by 10 by 12 joist uh, vendor same caps building supply same um, we're not affecting the multiplier we're not using a multiplier let's say it's twelve dollars each and I've got sales tax on that and if you wanted to beef up the waste in there because you know somebody's going to use one as a walkboard or there's going to be one that's trash or one that's crowned too bad or or uh, somebody cuts one wrong so let's just put five percent waste in there all right and then we'll save the changes these uh 16 foot bands so that's two by ten by 16 foot band cost code again deck materials and let's say that's a two by ten by sixteen band okay caps is our supplier let's say that that's sixteen dollars and each I'm not sure of my current unit pricing I would have my pricing sheet out in front of me to make sure I'm current and 5.3 percent sales tax and save the changes okay now let's take this piece of decking and let's say that's again cost code of deck materials and let's say that it's a uh, five quarter by six by 16 Trex decking and same vendor and uh, let's use a unit rate of $60 each and sales tax of 5.3% save changes. All right, now let's take this guy here and let's move it over into position. So let's move, let's see, take M, let's move this from here. And we're gonna move it over to here. All right, then we're gonna take that and we want a quarter inch space between there. So I'm gonna say move copy. And I know it's five and a half inches, so I'm gonna go 5.75. All right, it's looking kind of good. And we got a bunch of them. So it's probably 20 some of them. Let's say times 20, uh, times 23 times 25 all right so we get down to the end and when the last one has to be ripped so let's make this one unique okay so because we don't want to we're going to alter one of them so let's double click on it i'm just going to draw a line at the end straight up take this use push pull and get rid of it voila okay so now we've got a deck with the last piece ripped towards the house Looks like a deck, looks pretty good, except for these joist hangers sticking out, but you can ignore that for right now. We're gonna select everything in the model. Estimator's gonna calculate everything in there instantly, $1,800. We can run a report on that, run an HTML report, and there it is. There's everything that's associated with that so far. Okay, that is a quick tutorial on how to use components and estimator for SketchUp. Thanks for watching.